Today we are going to be doing a tutorial on the pen tool, so let's get right into it. First you're going to need to go to the pen icon and the on the toolbar and then you're going to want to select the pen tool. By doing this you will uh, activate the pen tool. You're going to need to switch this little icon at the top to path so that you can create an outline and by doing this you will be able to cut out a shape. Once you uh, have your image in front of you, all you have to do is begin to start shaping out your uh, shape. Um, most of you probably won't have this this bit of the pen tool, the blue line, it's called a rubber band. So what you'll need to do is go up to the cog on the toolbar and click it and then you just need to click rubber band. And by doing this you'll be able to see your line and accurately pinpoint your moves. By, uh, you can change the thickness as well which will help you be able to see the line. So once you, once you have your image, all you have to do is point where you want to make your line and click and drag. By doing this, you'll create two points on the end of the, on the, end of the place that you uh, click. These are to bend the line. As you can see, it's very uh, touch sensitive. So if you uh, drag a lot, then you're going to get a very sharp line. If you drag a little bit, you might get a smooth line or something like that. But anyway, we're not here to do that. That's just a brief insight into what the pen tool can do. So what you want to do is accurately go along the shape, dragging and bending the line around the image you're cutting out. By doing this, you are able to create smooth lines, accurate lines as well, may I add, and accurately cut out the image. As you can see, what I'm doing is using a bit of both. I'm clicking, which keeps the line straight, but then I'm also dragging as well, so that the points that need to be bent are bent. This is quite an easy process once you practice it. Um, it took me a while to get used to the pen tool, but from doing it over and over again in my course and in my line of work, I find that it's quite an easy tool to use. Um, and you just need to get used to the dragon aspect of it. If you make a mistake, uh, there are ways to rectify that. Uh, you can either Command Z um, on a Mac or Shift Z on a Windows computer. Uh, you can undo what you've done, um, or you can just press Backspace. So as you can see here, this area here, I've made a little mistake. So I'm going to zoom in that point I'm going to go over to it and I'm just going to go to the pen tool and I'm going to click convert point tool. This gives me uh, control over how these points are shaped and how I can bend it just so it fits the, um, the image a bit better. If you hold alt you can play with just one point that is probably what I'm going to do because this is the only one that needs to be bent out a little bit. This one is fine um, and by doing this I'm able to just create a more accurate representation of the cutout I want. Um, once doing this, all you need to do is zoom out, which is Command minus uh, for a shortcut. All right, so I've got my I've got my cutout, and you go select the layer, and you can go back to your pen tool. Once you're on your image, you right click, and you click Make Selection. Once you have got to this page, you're halfway to being done basically. Feathering is the um, the amount of uh, smoothness it'll have on the edge. Um, it will determine how clean the cut looks and how um, computerized you want it to look. So if it's like a rough cut, you probably only want to feather it like 0.5, which is what I'm gonna do. But if you want it really clean, you probably want to put three or four pixels. And you need to click new selection and then click okay. As you can see, it's all highlighted and glowing. Um, it's selected basically. So now you can go to your move tool, click the layer, and then go down to the bottom right, where it's this little circle in the, in the square. This is a layer mask. Once you click this, it will cut the thing out. There you go. The hand is cut out. Um, that is a short tutorial on how to use the pen tool. Now I'm gonna move on to the next stage. This is gonna be a bit more intricate. Maybe um, it will be easy if you've done some practice with the pen tool, but let's move on. Welcome back, guys. Um, we're on to the next shape now. Well, not shape, it's a circle, tennis ball, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is going to be a little bit harder for the pen tool, just for the sure fact that you don't, you're not able to create curves easier. Um, 
I'm going to show you a short and simple way to do that. So what you first need to do is click the pen tool. Once you've got the pen tool, you, if you're doing a circle, you want to pick a point at the top. Once you pick a point at the top, you are able to pick four other points which allow you to make the circle. As you can see there, that is a pretty good representation. Now if I pick a point down here, it's not gonna look as good. This is for the pure fact that the anchor point is not in the right place. So if I just leave that point there for now, I'll come back to it. And I bend this one round the circle and then I'll make that one join at the top. Right, so this does not look accurate at all. If we go to our convert point tool, like we did last time, and we take these two tools, right? So that one, is bent properly then we click alt and now we put this one into shape there we go now we have a better representation of that side of the circle as you can see so I'm gonna click undo that i'm going to select these two right okay so i don't want to touch that one if i convert this point tool that one's pretty much all right now i go to this one and i'm gonna make that one more round as you can see we've got a much better representation of a circle now it's not going to be perfect because there are better ways of cutting out circles in photoshop many of these will be in the quick selection tools in the magic wand and maybe the lasso if you've got a good steady hand using the pen tool you can still do this pretty accurately now um, what I'm going to do now, I'm, I'm going to make a selection like I did last time, right click, make a selection, 0 0.5 feather, okay, right we've got the selection and I'm going to do another layer mask. Once I do this you can see that you can still see the outlines of the shape. Now if you go over to the layer mask and double click, once you've done this you'll be meted with a layer mask page with all the little, uh, um, with all the controls that you need and you're going to want to go to the second one down on the toolbar and this, will, this is called the refine edge brush tool mainly used for cutting out hair but you want to enlarge the brush which is bra uh, open brackets on the um, the keyboard and you want to just go around the edge holding it down and this will slowly take away that look you can see it makes it look a bit more realistic i'm just going to go around the edge cut it out and make it look just a bit more real get rid of that color by doing this you are able to create a more realistic look it's got a shadow on it, that's nothing, I can't do much about that in the layer mask, that's just due to the photo and the way it's been taken. As you can see, we have accurately cut out the circle, and it looks pretty pretty good to me. Um, obviously there could be some more refining done. This is the beauty of the pen tool. The more you use it, the better you will get with it. On Illustrator, there is a curve tool, uh, which lets you do accurate circles. Um, there's one on Photoshop as well, but it's not as good. Uh, but th that's the best way I've found of being able to cut out circular objects. Right, I'm gonna move on to the next image now. This one's a bit bit harder, so um, just keep practicing on these first two images and when you feel ready, move on to the next one. Right, we have a shoe, obviously. Um, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. This is a lot more intricate. I, I recommend that you do a few practices on the other two before you start this one. Uh, because it's so intricate, I'm probably gonna speed this part of the video up, but. Uh, I will keep it slow enough so you can still follow along. Right, let's get into it. Now as you can see, we have accurately cut out the shoe. By doing this, I've used only the pen tool. The pen tool 
is a great way to access images within an image. So cutting them out and taking them, and putting them on another background. Obviously there are some lighting issues with this, um, but that's just the way the, the shot has been taken. Uh, you can change this uh, by using color corrections and um, by using different elements within Photoshop, which I will cover in more videos. So this has been a short tutorial on how to use the pen tool. I will do more in the future. Please like, comment and subscribe and let me know what you want to see in the future and I will bring it to you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.